we are going to discuss inductance of uh, three phase line yesterday uh, in the last lecture we uh, we, we discussed about uh, a general uh, uh, thing right like for a composite conductor what will be the case and all we discussed right now let us get into inductance of three phase lines with the equilateral space okay it's a it's a, a case uh, where we have let us consider this case like this like we have three conductors like this Okay. Three conductors are there and they are placed in the uh, edges of uh, on the vertices of an equilateral triangle. Okay, so uh, let me say this is the A conductor, this is B and this is the C conductor. So uh, the distance between them, it is given by D. The distance between uh, each of this conductor is given by what? That is given by D. Okay, this is D and uh, this also is what? All these distances are equal. They are equal, equal distance from each of the conductor. Right. So that is our uh, uh, pro problem now. So three phase lines with the equilateral spacing. Okay. So uh, uh, here, uh, when I say that these are three phase lines, uh, what it means is that I A plus I B plus I C that is equal to what zero. This is non zero, right? I A plus I B plus I C that is equal to zero. That is what we meant by three phase line. That is the peculiarity of three phase line. And here we are not having a neutral line. Understood. When I say only three conductors are there, that means that here we are not having a neutral line and we are uh, considering that IA plus IB plus IC is zero or this is what this is a symmetrical line. Understood. So this is a case when you, uh, what you can say it is symmetrical. Okay. Under this condition, what will be our inductance? So to find out the inductance, uh, what we usually write, we usually write our Flux linkage, right? So let us consider the flux linkage for the conductor A, lambda A. Okay, flux linkage for the conductor A, right? This we already discussed uh, from long time. So lambda A, how we can write this? It is equal to two into ten power minus seven. What is the current? Current flowing through that is what? Uh, oh sorry, two into ten power minus seven into what? For the internal flux linkages, or due, due to that that alone, what we will get? Let me write it down so that we can write in a line. Okay. Lambda A equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 into due to the current IA, it is given by what ln 1 by ds, right? ds means what that is uh, for this conductor alone. Yeah, ds means what it is self GMD, right? So self GMD or the GMR, geometric mean radius of this uh, A conductor alone. It can be R A dash if it is only single conductor, right? Plus one plus you will have IB into LN, this is IB, what is the distance between them LN 1 by D, right, plus what, plus IC into LN 1 by D, right, for uh, to, uh, B, uh, B to uh, A as well as C to A, the distance is how much, D only, it is the same distance, so that is our condition here, that it is equilaterally spaced. So this is the equation for the what flux linkage. Lambda A equal to 2 into 10 power minus 7. IA and then 1 by DS where DS is what? DS is the GMR, geometric mean radius. And this is other this is what the distance to the other conductors. IB and then 1 by D plus IC and then 1 by D. So that is this whole flux linkage associated with what conductor A. Conductor A. That we got it. Now we are going to apply what we know already. When I say IA plus IB plus IC is 0 or the total sum of the currents are 0, it means that I can write IA as what? Minus of IB plus IC, right? I, IA plus IB plus IC is 0 or what? IA equal to minus of IB plus IC. That I am going to apply in this equation, right? What I will do? So this will become 2 into 10 power minus 7 IA into LN 1 by D. Right. And here, as, as you can see, this ln 1 by d is getting common. So we can what we can add it as like what plus ib plus ic into ln 1 by d. That ib plus ic is what minus ia. So I can write it as what minus ia into ln 1 by d. Clear? Minus ia into ln 1 by d. So this is my equation for, for what flux linkage. Let us rewrite it here. If I rewrite it here, what it will become? Lambda a is given by. 2 into 10 power minus 7 into IA is already there, right? So this ln 1 by ds and minus ln 1 by d, if I combine it together, it will become what? It will become IA into ln d divided by ds. Okay. So this is the equation for flux linkage. Flux linkage in what? It is in Weber turns per meter. Now, 
For inductance, what we will do? In order to get inductance, once we have flex engage, the inductance of conductor A, LA is given by lambda A divided by I is. Right, flex engage by Y will current will get you what the inductance. So this will become what the inductance will become 2 into 10 power minus 7, 2 into 10 power minus 7 uh, ln D divided by ds. Right, ln D divided by ds in what in Henry per in Henry per meter. This is the inductance of a uh, uh, one conductor in what in in a three phase line with the equilateral space. Clear. So one more thing here is that since the equilateral space, your LA, your LA will be equal to what LB will be equal to LC, right? Or, or since they are all of the same radius and uh, they are equilateral space, then your all the conductor, all the inductances will be what the same. And uh, LA, each of them is called as what? That is the inductance. That is the inductance per phase. Understood. This can be called as what inductance per phase because we are dealing with three phase conductor. Each of LA, LB and LC they are called as inductance per phase and they will be equal. Right. So uh, now we have uh, derived inductance of uh, three phase lines with the equilateral spacing. Now let us see what happens uh, if we have our conductors uh, if they are not placed equilaterally like uh, one conductor is here, another conductor is here and the uh, third conductor, the th uh, another conductor is here and the third conductor is equ not equilaterally spaced. Okay, well, we, these are not equilaterally spaced. Under such a condition, what will be our uh, inductance? In equilateral case, what will happen? We are, uh, each of the conductors inductance was equal so we have a uh, it will be equal to the average inductance right so that uh, they, they were equal in, in when we were considering the equilateral spacing condition under unsymmetrical spacing uh, spacing what will happen let us say this conductor is a this is b and this is c so the spacing between them they will be different okay they will be different okay and uh, that is our problem so uh, whenever we have the equilateral spacing uh, if, if they are of having unsymmetrical spacing then the spacing between them will be different right so that is one problem that is one regularity so under that condition uh, uh, the condition is that uh, once uh, they are they not uh, equilaterally spaced then flex linkages will not be equal right then the flex linkages what they will not be equal will not be uh, equal Flex linkages will not be equal for what for each conductor flex linkage will be different. That is one problem. Due to that, what will it become? Due to that, we will have an asymmetrical circuit. Right. When the flex linkages are not equal, then what will happen? Even the current distribution will not be equal, and we will have an asymmetrical circuit here. And the problem itself, if you want to solve this problem, problem will become uh, what problem will be complex. We will have a complex problem to solve. So in such a situation, uh, we uh, and it's a problem, right? When we have an asymmetrical circuit, it's a problem. So in order to deal with this, we apply a, a different strategy here, which is called as transposition of lines. What it is called? It is called as transposition of lines. What? Transposition of transition lines. Okay. This is an, an important part here. Transposition of transition lines. Let us see what is meant by transposition of transition lines. Okay. And taking this out. Let us see what is meant by transposition of transmission lines. Okay. What is meant by transposition of transmission lines? What is this? Okay. It is a quite easy concept. Okay. For this, uh, for, for this, let us consider that as before. Let us consider that we have uh, three conductors and what they are not equilaterally spaced. Okay. They are the, the distance between them are not equal. Okay. I am going to mark the position of this conductors as what 1, 2 and 3. Okay. There are three position of conductors and let, let us say uh, uh, over the transition line between the towers let us take three sections like this is what uh, three sections of conductors like this let us take three sections. Okay. Right. So and in transition what we do is that we will exchange the conductors uh, after each tower. After each interval, we will exchange the conductor from one position to another. Like for one tower, for, for, from one tower location to other, let me say these are the position and at this places, uh, let me say in this first position A is occupied, in the second position B is occupying and the third position is occupied by what C. 
Understood. So this was what this was the first uh, 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 condition in, in between the other. Once we once after an interval, what we will do is that we will change the position of A to what to the position two. Means what we will change the position of this conductor, this A conductor. That we will change to this one, and we will change uh, uh, the B conductor to C position and C conductor to what A position like this. So this A is changed to what A has reached the second position and B has reached the third position and C has reached the first position understood so this is what is meant by interchange understood so in other this is what this is C so uh, A B C will become what C A B on the other section again on the uh, next section what will happen this uh, C on A on this position will come to what it will go to the third position B will go to what B will go to the uh, first position and C will go to the second position so second C will go to the second position and B this is B. Okay. B will go to this one. Okay. Means after the second interval, what will happen? This will come here, this will go here, and this will go here. So that is what is meant by transposition. Transition means what? We are exchanging the conductors. Okay. We are exchanging the conductor, exchanging the conductors over an interval. Exchanging the conductor over an interval. That is called as transposition. Exchanging the conductor over an interval. So that is what is meant by transposition. So that that we use why so that this complete thing, this complete part is what is what we call as a complete transposition cycle. Over a transition cycle, the conductor is occupying what middle as well as the furthermost position, right? It is occupying the middle position as well as the furthermost position, and similarly, all of them are taking all the position possible so that. Your average inductance, your average inductance of each line over a complete transition cycle, a average inductance of each line over a complete transition cycle will be what? They will be equal for the case of A, B as well as C. Otherwise, what will happen? If we are following the same, B will have a more flexing gauge compared to A and C. Understood. So, flexing, flex, uh, inductance of each each of them will be different, even it will become asymmetrical also. But here, using transition, what we are doing, we are able to manage whatever change we are making, we are able to manage over a interval of uh, in the interval in the transitional line system. So, that is what is meant by transition of transition lines. Okay. Using this, we are, what we are able to achieve, we are able to achieve an average, a, 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 a average inductance which is equal. Understood. Uh, so that uh, the average inductance will be equal over all the each of the transition cycles. That is what we are able to achieve using transition. That is how uh, uh, the, and uh, that, that is uh, how we will be able to uh, make the uh, circuit quite symmetrical. So how to find out this average inductance? Okay, we what we usually do is that okay for our this red one is our A conductor. Uh, yellow is our B conductor, sorry, green is our B conductor and orange is our C conductor. Okay. And they are in 1, 2, 3 position on the first uh, part of the transition cycle. So uh, we will have an inductance for each of this thing. Okay. So what we uh, do is that in order to find for the A conductor, let me say this red one is A. So for the A conductor, we usually uh, what we do uh, what we do is that we will see what is the flexing is when it is placed at a one, two as well as three position, and we will take the average of this flexing gauges. Uh, over the complete transmission cycle and from there we will identify what is the inductance LK. Okay, so first let us see uh, the at position 1. Let us say now our A, this is the conductor we are considering, it is A, this is the A conductor and let us say at position 1, so I am marking it as what lambda A1, at position 1 what is the flex linkage? Lambda A1 equal, equal to what? Lambda A1 if I write what it will be equal to, it will be equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7, right, into what, the, what is the current flowing through uh, uh, the, uh, this conductor, what is the current flowing through this conductor, IA, right, IA into LN 1 by what, 1 by DS, right, that is about uh, its own uh, in inductance part, plus what, plus IB into LN, what is the uh, 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 current in the second position? We have the B conductors here. Yes, so I B into L N. What is the distance between them? I B into L N one by D one two plus I C into L N one by D three one. Right. So this is the uh, uh, flex linkage corresponding to uh, phase A conductor when it is in position one. Correct. 
Now what? Now we are going to change this position. In the second uh, part of the transition, A has come to position two, and this has come to here. Right? B came to three, and the three uh, C came to one. So under this condition, when uh, the flex linkage of the, the uh, conductor A, when it is in position two. What will be the equation? 2 into 10 power minus 7 into the first part will remain the same. What I A into Ln 1 by ds. What about the second and third part? Now the B conductor is here. So I B in the third position. I B into Ln what 1 by D 2 3. Right. 1 by D 2 3 plus what? I, I C. Means it is here now. Uh, I C into Ln 1 by D 1. I C into Ln 1 by D 1 2. Right, because that is the distance now. Now again, A conductors uh, flex linkage lambda A three means what? Whenever your this A conductor is in the third position, so these will be accordingly here. Under this condition, what it will become? This is equal to two into ten raised to minus seven into this will remain same. Again, one by D S. What about other things? Now your B is in the first position, so uh, I B into L N one L N one by D31, right? Ln1 by D31 plus IC into Ln1 by what? D23. So this is the total. This is the this is what uh, flex linkages whenever it is in positions 1, 2, as well as 3 for the conductor A. Clear? For the conductor A. So now what we have to do in order to get the average of this one, in order to get the average, what I have to do? Now I will take out all these things. Now because now I think the equations are all written very clearly. So now I will take out this thing. I am taking this part out. Now the average, average flex linkage will be what? It will be equal to lambda a1 plus lambda a2 plus lambda a3 divided by 3. Right. Lambda a1 plus lambda a2 plus lambda a3 divided by 3 will get me what? The average flex linkage, right? So if I add this thing, as you know uh, here, uh, what is common? Common part is what? 2 into 10 power minus 7 and you have a division by 3. That I can take as common. All these places, uh, you have what? IA ln 1 by ds is there in the first equation. IA ln 1 by ds is in the second equation. And IA ln 1 by ds is in the third equation. If we add all of them together, then it will become what? 3 times IA ln 1 by ds. Right? So, uh, I am take, uh, taking the, uh, uh, we will, uh, uh, 1 by ds. And uh, after that, with IB what? IB here, you have what? ln 1 by d12. Here when you come with IB, you have ln 1 by D2, D, uh, 1 by D2, 3 and here you have IB ln 1 by D3, 1, right. So, they, uh, each of the time what inside ln, uh, uh, for IB if we take common, we have ln 1 by D1, 2 plus ln 1 by D2, 1, D2, 3 plus ln 1 by D3, 1. They come, come together and when you have IC if you take same, the three combination are coming here. So, so I am, uh, you can uh, write, it, uh, write it in your notebook very clearly and now I am going to uh, erase this part off so that I can write it right clearly. So if you write it down, you will get first part is what 3 times IA into Ln 1 by ds. 3 times IA into Ln 1 by ds. Because 3 times it is coming. Plus what? Plus IB into Ln what? 1 by. If I combine all of them together, it will be what? 1 by D1 2, D2 3, D3 1. Similarly, for IC also what will come? IC into Ln 1 divided by same thing. D12, D23, D31. Since it is logarithmic, the addition will become like this. Okay. That, that you can check by yourself in your notes. So this will be the, the complete equation here. And if I take this, uh, if I combine it again together, uh, as we know what IA plus IB plus IC is equal to what? 0 here again. Okay. So uh, in place of IB plus IC, what I can write? It is equal to minus IA. So here since ln 1 by d1 ln of this uh, this as well as this comes in common, we can take out so that ib plus ic will come here. So I can write it as 2 into 10 raised to minus 7. Right. This 3 I will take inside so that it will become what? ia into ln 1 by ds. Right. But this ib plus ic will become what? Equal to minus ia. So minus ia divided by 3. Minus ia divided by 3 into what? Into ln 1 by d12, d23, d31. Right. So this is quite clear. ln 1 by d12, d23, d31. So this if we combine it together, this if once we combine it together, what we will get? What we will get? 
So here, if we combine these logarithms together, we will get it as since i a is now have become common. So lambda a, the average is what two into ten power minus seven into yeah i a also we can take it as common. So i a into what l n l n of what l n of this uh, minus is coming. So the this is one by three here. If we take it inside, it will become cube root since it is one by three. So this will become the cube root of d one two d two three d three one divided by d s. Okay. In what in Weber terms per meter. If I want inductance, what I will do? Inductance is always L A equal to what lambda A divided by I A, or it will become two into ten raised to minus seven into what the cube root of the cube root of d one two d two three d three one divided by sorry, I think it is visible for you d s. Okay. So this is the equation for the inductance L A. That will be equal to what L B and equal to L C also, right? So this is the inductance of a particular conductor when it is transpose and when they are equilateral, when they are not equilaterally spaced or they are unsymmetrically placed. So this is the equation for inductance when we are considering unsymmetrical spacing. And this d1 to uh, cube root of d1 to d2 to d3 one that we call as the equivalent distance uh, under equilateral case. Okay, or we write this equation L A equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 L N d d e q divided by d s. Okay, where d q is what d q is the cube root of d1 to d2 to d3 one means what the geometrical uh, Distance uh, bet, uh, be, between this equilat uh, bet, between this unsymmetrically spaced line, whatever it is that we call as D Q, is also referred to as the equivalent distance corresponding to equivalent uh, equilateral spacing. Means if this conductors were placed in equilateral, what will be the G M D like that? Okay, that uh, is given by what D E Q. So this is the equation L A equal to two into ten to the power minus seven L N D E Q divided by D S. Where when we are considering an unsymmetrical Transition line. Clear. Yeah. So uh, this we will be able to understand D E Q. We will do problems also uh, uh, on this area uh, with, with this thing. Okay, in, in a three phase line. Now uh, in the next uh, part, uh, in the coming part, we will see about the bundle conductors. With this, the inductance uh, of transition line uh, portion in our syllabus will be covered. Thank you. So uh, we have seen inductance of uh, composite conductors. Inductance of three phase lines when they are equilaterally spaced and when they are unsymmetrically placed also. This is the last portion in inductance and this is about our inductance of bundle conductors. What it is? It is the bundle conductors. So first of all, let us understand what is meant by bundle conductor. In a normal uh, co composite conductor, it is kind of a composite conductor you can say. Okay. Uh, like uh, whenever we are talking about extra high voltage lines, okay, in your first chapter you might have got a viewpoint about this extra high voltage. Extra high voltage means let us say about 230 kV, okay, about 230 kV. Or whenever you are having a very high voltage going, then if you con consider a solid conductor, solid when when you consider a solid conductor, this conductor is at a very high potential like what. 230 kV. If we are using one solid conductor alone, if you are using one solid conductor alone, means we are just using one solid conductor. In that case, let us say when I say it is at a higher potential, it means that on the surface you will have very high, uh, very large amount of charges, right? So uh, there is a property like whenever you on the surface you then uh, charges like you have charges all around the surface. Let me say. Okay, on the surface, whenever it reaches uh, becomes so high, then what will happen? Then you have something called as corona. Means it is the ionization of the media around it that we will discuss in much more detail in the next module. Okay. Anyhow, uh, in an ESP line, when you use a single solid conductor in such a high voltage level, in that case, it is a, we have a problem of what corona. That is the major problem. We have corona, and what corona means what losses. Then we have when you uh, you are talking about high voltage line, very high voltage means if some communication line is going nearby, then you will have interference with this communication line. So interference with the communication lines. These are all problems when you are using a single conductor alone. 
Understood. These are uh, some of the problems. So, if in the in the place of one single conductor, in the place of one single conductor, if we are using, let me say, four conductors like this. Understood. Come back, uh, come uh, for one phase. Means if we have a three phase line similar to this, what you will have, you will have two other phases also. So, in that one phase, if you are making what a composite conductor, not standard conductor, right? Standard conductor, how it will be? In a standard conductor, you will have all the conductors like uh, stranded around, like a, a structure like this. But in a bundle conductor, this is what we call as bundle. It is a composite conductor where you have several elements like this. Understood? Yeah, which are what? Which are apart uh, by a small distance. Understood? Each phase is by a small distance. So this is what is meant by bundle conductor. It can be four. It can be any other number also. Okay? It is not. It will not be always four. Understood? So that is called as bundle conductor, and why we are using that? One reason is that uh, in order to reduce the corona losses, that is one reason. Another reason is that uh, what is another reason? Another reason is that we have to uh, reduce the interference with the communication lines. And there is one more interesting thing. This we already discussed. Like if you have one single conductor, in, in that place, uh, if we have two uh, conductors carrying current, what will happen? The effective inductance or the effective reactance, your effective reactance, it will become what lesser, right? You have when I say two conductors are there, they are electrically in parallel. So when two inductances are in parallel, if you add them, you will get uh, you will get uh, come to know that x is equal to what x is equal to two pi f, right? So whenever you uh, you have this parallel thing, then your your reactance also will reduce. Understood? And one more thing is thing is that if you consider this as the complete conductor, the co conductor then what compared to a solid conductor, your GMR will increase. Geometric mean radius will increase when you have more than one conductor. Okay. So that uh, due to this reason, your reactance also will reduce. That is good. Why, why it will be good? That that also we will discuss later. That your power transfer capability, your power transfer capability will increase whenever your reactance is lesser. So that may also bundle conductor helps. Okay, bundle conductors they can take a uh, different configuration. Uh, like they there can be what there can be two. Just like this, or what? One phase can consist of what? Three conductors together, or it can be four also. Okay, so uh, these uh, th this is uh, this will depend on several factors. So these all ways we can have bundle conductor. Okay, when I say bundle conductor, it means that this is one conductor with having two filaments. You can say like this, you will have three phases. With the two conductor here, two conductor there, two conductor on the C phase, A phase, B phase, C phase like that. So that is how you you have. So here, uh, uh, in order to find the inductance, uh, we uh, we will be following the same way where we consider the composite conductor line. Understood? So there, what we uh, whatever we followed, that only uh, we are going to follow here. So here, if we consider this one, what will be the GMR? What will be the GMR? Or we uh, usually call it what DS, right? DS of means what self GMD. Okay. In order to differentiate it from each conductor, let me write it as bundle. DSP means what self uh, GMD of the bundle conductor. What what it will become? There are two conductors, right? When there are two conductors, how many terms will be there? Or how many terms will be the two square, right? So this will be the fourth root of what? Fourth root of what? For this conductor, for each of this conductor, uh, what what will be the? For each of this conductor, there will be a Self GMD. Already for each of this uh, individual con individual conductor in the bundle conductor, you will have a self GMD that is denoted by DS, right? So they will come. They they will already come by two times. And what the, the distance between them? Let us say it is D. Distance between the two conductors. Let us say it is D. So that also will go from for this conductor to this it is D. For this conductor to this it is D. So that also two times, right? So D S square into D square. So if we take uh, take it out means Uh, it is what D S into D all square. So if we cut it out, it will become what D S into D. Understood? So that is the case for what that is for this one when you have two conductors. Similarly, you can derive what similarly you can derive the case for for uh, three conductors. In th three conductors case, how many terms will be the? There will be three square or nine terms, right? So here uh, very easily I can say D S how many times it will come? D S for three conductors means what? D S Q, right? DSO three conductors mean DSQ into what into 
the distance also how many times it will come? One uh, d uh, d square means for one conductor d and d right d square for another conductor d and d d square right. So like that how many times it will come? It will come d raised to six right. For one two two d's will come. For this one also two d's. For the other one also two d's. So total d raised to six will come. So if I uh, take this thing outside, what what it will become means I can write it as what ds into uh, ds into d square all q right ds into d square all q. So this will become a, of what this uh, this means from this you can take out what q uh, we can take out right. So what will be left the uh, what will be left is left is what this will become ds and this will become d square right. So this way we can find out it for even four also. So for the four conductors, the, this is an assignment for you. You derive by yourself. We will discuss in the next live lecture uh, about this. So four conductors, what is the GM? You can find it out, right? For between each of them, the distance is what d or b. Here between each of them, the distance take it as d, right? The, take the distance as d. Okay. When you consider one at a time, what uh, one d s x four will come. Another one, what Two distances will be d on v, right? The third distance will be what uh, the sum of what uh, this uh, uh, d square plus d square, right? So you will get root two d on this part here. So that you can derive, and that also you can find out. After that, it goes to the same derivation as, as we have done in, then for the composite conductor. When it comes to uh, or when it comes to three four line, you can directly apply what this self g uh, g m d b b like this, okay? So uh, that uh, I am giving you as an assignment uh, to derive for yourself. That you can do. Okay. So, uh, means uh, the di major difference. We we have always seen that. What is the equation for inductance? What is the equation for inductance? Inductance equation is always what two into ten power minus seven into L M D M divided by D S. Right. D M divided by D S. That is the equation. In this case, we have we got what d e q divided by d s in this three phase line. Uh, what I want you to derive is what you have a line bundle conductor like this. One is here, one is here, another one is here. Let me say okay. The distance between each of them is what this is d, this is d, and this also is d. Okay, so from center to center. In that case, you can derive what is what will be the the case. We already have taken uh, seen the g m d, which is derived derived as d s b. Okay. You can go through that, and you can write it in your notes. Uh, we will discuss about this derivation in the next lecture. But before that, we have to do it, and then we will discuss on that. Okay, thank you.